Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us start the security. So what is security? In one of our initial tutorials, I have told you. What is security guys? Security is nothing but protection from an external user or external thread. So if you are having two users and you got two files, R1 and R2, and you can access any way. And there is a user X who is not in your system. He tries to enter in and access the R1. So in this place we need to have security so that this X guy cannot get the information which is in R1. So that's the place where we will be having security. So generally deals with external threats or environment. Fine. So some of the misuse indicates indications are so where the security should be used. So there are three different places mainly those are nothing but theft of information. So what uh, the hackers or anyone will be doing they'll be entering our system and they will be stealing our information so like whenever you use facebook or whenever you log into some other sites they will be silently seeing your passwords or anything so or they will be using some kind of viruses or cookies to get the data so they will be trying to get the get your information and unauthorized modification of data so if there is a file in your system which is having an important code or anything so they will be entering into the system if there is no security they will be entering into the system and they can modify the file right so unauthorized destruction of data so this is mainly done uh, done and the deleting fi the files which are popularly being deleted by the hackers or anyone is the operating system files so the operating system will crash and the C and the and operating system should be reinstalled to reaccess the system. So that's the reason why for every two to three months, a normal computer without antivirus will be attacked with virus and every two to, two to three months, they need to install the OS again and again. So because of this reason, fine. So there are totally four security levels also guys. So these are the problems with sec without security. So even we are having a basic security in four types, fine. Okay, so security level, physical, physical is nothing but a particular security guard or a human being will be taking care of the device. So this is mainly seen in banks or any kind of IT companies, in few IT companies at least. They, they will be appointing guards to secure the systems and they will not enter, they will not allow the outsiders to enter inside. Even research centers also. So sites containing computer systems must be physically secured. So if you, if a system in your home is really having a complex data or really important data data, then you should secure it with some physical also. Then human, we should add some authentications and authorizations for the system. So you need to give some passwords, protections and few things so that you can protect your files. Sometimes network, network is nothing but when you are sending a data packet to your friend. Data packet is nothing but a message which you are sending to your friend. So this should not be read by a hacker or any other guy. So while you are sending, before sending it, it should be encrypted and before your friend reads it, it should be decrypted. So this process should also be done in security. And finally operating system. So you need to install any kind of antivirus like Norton or Avast. There are many antiviruses in current generation so you need to install and protect it so installing a trial version that don't that don't work but you need to have some powerful antivirus so basically even operating system inbuilt will be having the firewall and all those concepts but we need to have the antivirus for our safeguards so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we'll be going through authentication so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching